I can't give you the answer, but what you have is not even close. Out! <laughs> These things happen. My mother had me when she was young. Sorry to interrupt. I can't find my safety goggles. Well, they're not here. I have to find them. Nothing's more important than protection. <laughs> Dad, you need to take me home. Why? What's the matter? I don't have my safety goggles. Let's go. Sheldon, I'm busy. You're just watching TV. I'm reviewing game tape. So you know how it ends. I'll meet you at the car. Sheldon, I'm not driving you home. I got practice in 20 minutes. Then call mom and tell her to bring them to me. She's working too. But I need my goggles. Then use the ones in class. And I don't want to hear about eyebrow lies. The ones in class are too big for me. What if they fall off and something happens to my eyes? If I go blind, I'll need a seeing eye dog and I'm scared of dogs. Hey! Is this how you plan on acting when you get to college? No. Good. You're going to need to handle stuff like this on your own. I can handle it. I hope so. I ended up using the class goggles that day and did not get eyebrow lice. But eight months later, I did contract a mild case of pink eye. Were the two events related? This scientist says yes. Do you think I can make it from one end of the college campus to the other in under 10 minutes, including a bathroom break? I don't know. How important is the bathroom break? Very. The class schedules are designed for fully grown bladders, and mine is child-sized. Then don't put your classes so close together. Well, it's either this or I move my labs to Tuesday afternoons. Is that bad? Yes, that's when Professor Proton is on. Well, we'll tape it and you can watch it later. But what if I have a lot of homework and can't get to it until the next day and one of the kids in my class spoils the episode for me? Sheldon, has anyone ever spoiled Professor Proton for you? No. Has anyone even talked to you about Professor Proton? Do you count? No. Then no. Thanks again for giving me another shot. Oh, my pleasure. I got something else for you. Wow. Thank you, but why? Well, I'm trying to get better at forgiving people. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. Because I'm the one who egged your store last night. That was you? Well, me and Meemaw. Huh? It's okay. Uh, I forgive you. Cool. Thanks again for the money. Mm, forgiving people sucks. Bless us, Lord, for the food we are about to receive and bless the hands that prepared it. And thank you for Georgie getting his job back. Amen. 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 That was nice of Dale. I know. He even forgave me for egging his store. You went egging without me? Georgie Cooper. Dale already forgave me and God has to. You can't get mad. Ha, huh. burn. Oh, hold on, hold on. Your chair, m'lady. M'lady? Where did that come from? I don't know. My brain. <laughs> Can I get y'all started with some drinks? Yeah. Uh, margaritas? Mm -hmm. Split a pitcher? Mm, no, I think I'm okay. More of a beer night? No, not really. I'm going to take a little break. I'll just stick with water. Really? Well, you know, I don't do my best thinking after I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Should I not get one then? No, you go ahead. Well, I don't want it to get weird. I can come back. No, no, no. Hey, just bring her a margarita. No, don't. I insist. I don't want one. Yeah, you do. It's getting weird. Maybe come back. Missy, how would you and Sheldon like a graduation party? Why would Missy have a graduation party? Because I'm graduating elementary school. That counts. Of course it can. Yes, it's a big deal. She's going to a new school. New friends, new teachers. Same clothes, because we're poor. We're not poor. So I can get new clothes? Not rich, either. Do I really got to sit through two graduations? 